Hey guys, it's Dr. Emily Wise here from Derm Wellesley. Um, I'm going to be your host today for this um, super fun Facebook Live event uh, that I'm doing with um, Impact Melanoma to discuss one of their really cool programs that's called the Skinny on Skin. Um, so I have been involved with the, the Impact Melanoma, formerly Melanoma Foundation of New England for many, many, many years. Um, and this program was launched quite a while back and was um, initially something that we did mostly in person. So I remember many, many years ago traveling and talking with a huge group of people from, say, Supercuts and training them on the importance of how to examine a patient's scalp. Um, and not necessarily make a diagnosis of one thing versus another, but just have the kind of confidence um, to say, hey, you know what? I see something in your scalp. I don't think it looks quite right. Have you ever had that evaluated? And giving people kind of the tips and tricks that they need to also um, broach the subject with their clients uh, and kind of gently push them over to being referred to um, a dermatologist for more evaluation. Um, so currently, I'm still really involved with Impact Melanoma. I'm on their medical advisory board and uh, do a lot of fun stuff with them and help them with some of their programs, um, all of which are really important at kind of spreading the word about um, melanoma awareness and the importance of early detection, sunscreen use, um, et cetera. And they also have some really wonderful programs uh, to provide support to those who have been diagnosed and their family members. Um, so today we are here to talk about the Skinny on Skin. Um, what's really exciting is that this is a completely um, virtual uh, uh, program now. So um, it's an e-learning opportunity. So there's no reason that you can't do it. No longer do you have to drive to New Hampshire to listen to me lecture you on a Saturday morning. You can do this all from the comfort of your own home. And what better time than now when you don't have a whole lot going on. So. What is this program and who is it great for? So this program is um, was traditionally kind of made for hairstylists or massage therapists, um, but we've really broadened it because we know, you know, nail technicians, tattoo artists, um, chiropractors, there's a lot of um, professionals who are looking at patients or clients' skin for the majority of their day. And so isn't it nice to be able to at least be armed with some of the tools, again, to be able to identify a spot that maybe doesn't look quite right, ask your client about it, and then, you know, have the, the tools to be able to suggest that perhaps they should go get it checked out without feeling like you're overstepping your boundaries or doing something that's not appropriate. Um, so as uh, professionals who do see your patient's skin and scalp regularly, in a lot of cases, you see them more than we do. So um, I'm not, you know, using a comb on wet hair and parting it in a million different directions to cut the hair or color the hair, but you are. So you have a unique opportunity probably to see the scalp, um, number one, more regularly than we do, but number two, you're seeing it, um, you know, and you're, be, you're able to really kind of weave through it and take a peek. So um, this is something that I just feel like is a wonderful opportunity to be able to give you the, the knowledge to be able to, to point something out and potentially save a life. I can tell you in my clinic, I, I can't count the number of referrals I've had from hairstylists and massage therapists. And um, many of them have turned out to be a skin cancer. We know that skin cancers on the head and neck region tend to be detected a bit later and can be more aggressive. So um, early detection is key uh, for all types of melanoma. So let me tell you how the program works. So um, basically it's an e-learning opportunity. You can sign up right online through Impact Melanoma's website um, and uh, just select Skinny on Skin. You can do it as an individual or you can do it um, as a, you can become a Skinny on Skin ambassador um, and can kind of enroll your entire salon or company. Um, the more the merrier. You don't have to fit into one of these categories. If it's something that sounds fun for you, then let's do it. Uh, it's never going to hurt to have this extra education. Um, and basically the program in total um, takes about 30 to 45 minutes. It's going to give you, um, it has a couple different sections. The first section is about kind of understanding like what are the different skin cancers? Um, what is melanoma? Um, the second section is going to help you kind of look uh, at different photographs and be able to see certain features that may um, lead you to feel like maybe this should be evaluated versus other features that are more benign. And there's another section that helps you um, have the confidence and kind of the tools to talk to your clients about having that checked out. Um, some clients 
you know, maybe feel like you're overstepping your bounds. But I think at the end of the day, everyone's just really thrilled to uh, know that you care so much and that you're pointing this out and that they should get it checked. I can say on the flip end, when I am sent someone who says, hey, my hairstylist pointed that out, I don't care if it's benign a thousand times, if it means we caught one skin cancer. So I never want you to feel like, God, I hope I'm not wrong about this and I'm wasting someone's time by having them go to the doctor. It's never a waste of time. Really and truly, we'd rather see something a hundred times and tell them it's fine than have them not come. Um, and as I said before, early detection is really key here. If we can catch this while this is still really superficial, um, the prognosis is quite favorable. So once you finish the course, you are gonna receive a certification that you can print out and have at your salon. You can put it up at your, um, at your space. You'll also get um, a package in the mail that has information um, about the ABCDEs of melanoma. And, um, and then you'll have this little uh, certification, as I said, to, to let people know that, um, that you've taken this course. And also sometimes it just prompts a conversation. And if that conversation leads to someone getting their skin checked out, fantastic. Um, and if you've already taken the course, there's also some new kind of advanced sections that have been added. So you can feel free to log on and take a peek at that as well. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. That's the skinny on skin in a nutshell. But it's a, as I said, it's a really um, wonderful opportunity just to learn a little bit more about skin cancer and uh, maybe potentially you could be the one that saves a life. Um, I can honestly say I have had patients who I have detected melanoma in their scalp after they were sent by their hairstylist. So, um, so please, please, please send them along. Um, it's only a couple minutes of their time. And again, even if we end up telling them it's benign, no big deal. Um, okay, so a couple of things. Um, number one, I just want to mention that um, there today is the last day to enter in this raffle um, where you can uh, be registered to enter a contest to win a free sunscreens dispenser. So just fill out the link that um, you should see here and the drawing is going to be live tomorrow. So that's really exciting. Um, second, I want to do a little contest to get the comment section going. So um, I'm gonna ask a question and the first person to comment with the answer is gonna win a special melanoma goodie bag. Um, so we talk a lot about the ABCDEs of melanoma. Does anyone know what the D stands for? And you can just write it into the chat. And the first one to enter is gonna win prize um okay let's see so that's going to be ongoing the first person to enter uh you can get contacted by the by impact melanoma and they'll they'll get you your um award oh we have our winner um kath cameron you win um, let me just quickly go through what the ABCDEs of melanoma stand for, and then I'm going to open it up to some more general questions. So A stands for asymmetry. So um, if you took a spot and you kind of made a line down and a line across and divided it into four regions, we really want um, the top and the bottom to look symmetric. So if one side looks totally different from the other, um, that's something that we would want to know about. B stands for border irregularity. So um, we want to see a nice smooth border. If you see something that looks really jagged or kind of stellate or haphazard, send them over. We want to know about it. C stands for color. So ideally, a mole would have uniform color um, throughout. Uh, we don't want to see anything that has like a little pink area or an area that's black. Um, that is a warning sign for melanoma or that something's going haywire. So send them over to get it checked out. Uh, D stands for diameter. That's the answer to the question. So um, you are allowed to have moles of all different shapes and sizes, but we so certainly don't want to see a mole that's growing, and we never would want to see a new mole that's more than about six millimeters, which is roughly the size of a pencil eraser. And E stands for evolution. Evolution just means, is your mole changing over time? So um, we all have lots of moles on our body, and I don't think we're kind of acutely aware of them. But if all of a sudden you do feel like you're aware of one because it's constantly itching or bleeding or irritated or sensitive, that it can be a potential warning sign. And so come and get it checked out. Um, so those are the ABCDEs, and you'll learn more about that uh, during your class, Skinny on Skin. 
Um, let me go to the um, questions. So um, once you're certified, are you always? Yes, I think, you know, the certification is not necessarily something that's like a formal, you know, schooling certification, but you um, get a little certification just from Impact Melanoma that says, hey, you've, um, you've taken this course and so you now have a little bit more information. Um, so yes, of course you're certified, you took the, the class. Um, I don't know that that certification is gonna like buy you anything huge, but, um, but it's a, a certification that comes from Impact Melanoma that just verifies that you've taken the class, so yes. Um, I'm not sure what this means, PLA patches. Um, I'm not sure what the question is here, but um, if you have a more specific question um, and you wanna elaborate a little bit about PLA patches, um, go ahead and, and email that to Impact Melanoma and uh, they'll do their best to answer for you. Any other questions? Yes. Um, someone says, if, if I've taken it, would it be good to retake it? Absolutely. Um, there's no limit on the number of times you can take this. So if you've taken it and you need a refresher, um, we welcome that. Um, and we're always kind of um, enhancing the um, educational tools. So check back and uh, you may learn something that you haven't learned before. And again, there's a little um, advanced section that's been added more recently. So if you took the course a while back, it may be worth just logging on to see. Um, what is the best way for me to share this information with my hairstylist um, so they can take the course? Um, you can uh, always just let them know verbally and tell them, you know, log on to Impact Melanoma and check out this thing, this um, website. Um, it's right there on their page under program Skinny on Skin. Alternatively, um, the whole staff at Impact Melanoma is so fabulous. And if you wanted to just follow up and email one of them, they could reach out to someone from your salon as well. Um, the owner or manager or whoever could help coordinate this. Um, they do that all day long. So they're happy to help uh, and, and love to have people who are interested in sharing this with their whole kind of salon or um, an entire company. Great question. Anything else? Good. Well, Thank you guys. Um, thanks for taking the time to learn more about this. And again, the details um, are all up on the website and uh, you can launch the program. And again, it's only about 30 to 45 minutes of your time. And uh, I really and truly feel like you have the ability to save a life here. Um, so please log on and encourage those that you know to do it, uh, the more the merrier. So thank you and have a wonderful weekend um, and hang in there with all of this craziness and stay safe.